Hi everybody, Julie here with J Little Health and I have some tips to help you beat stress today. And I'm gonna start with one that I call the law of opposites. And it's a very helpful way of you thinking about what you're doing too much of and then finding a way to kind of go the other direction for a little while or do the opposite. So it's gonna help you beat stress because sometimes you know, the physical stress of doing something repetitive like sitting over a computer and you're at the computer uh, bending forward and your hands are up and it's a very long period of time that you're sitting that way. And so your back is hunched over and you're, you're in, in a particular mode. And it really is hard on your body when you do that to it, um, to be too long in one position like that. So then what you need to do is think in terms of the opposite for a little while when that's causing you stress is to stand up and then bend bend uh, back or stand up a lot straighter or actually lay down on the floor on top of a pillow or something so that you're actually stretching backwards the other way. The same thing is true for a lot of other things for the law of opposites. And that can be if you're sitting too long. What do you need to do when you're sitting too long? You need to find a way to walk or stretch or stand or lie down on the floor or something so that you can feel a little bit uh, different muscles in your body and give those other muscles a break that have been doing all that sitting. The same thing is true if you're busy for a lot of days, you're rushing. Let's say I, I get a, a reaction to that, that rushing all the time thing and I, and I kind of lived my uh, career that way, rushing as a, as a junior high teacher. So you wanna stop the rushing for a while and that just doing the opposite will just make a huge difference in your stress. You just take an hour, even a half an hour. Sometimes when I was teaching um, in the last few years, I would walk slowly through an area where you could see trees outside and go check my mailbox, even though I knew the mailbox was very likely empty since everything was email. And I would just take that little stroll. And so really it was a five minute break, but it made me have that opportunity of doing the opposite for a little while where my brain could take a break and my body could just be doing something that wasn't rushing, take my time. So there's a lot of different ways to think about the law of opposites. Uh, sometimes uh, it's related to food and how you're treating your body as far as what you eat. You might have had a, a few days of a lot of sugar uh, because of parties or something and then you realize that you really need the opposite of that for about three or four days You need to have a, a Much reduced sugar intake for a few days and drink a lot more water and at the end of that time the, the body is very happy to have a lot less stress in that area so I have a class starting soon that will give you a lot more on the tips for you to beat stress and it's called Find Your Freedom from Burnout, and I will put the link here on the description. So I hope to see you there. Thank you. Go to jlittlehealth.com. It's also the hello bar at the top of jlittlehealth.com website. So I'll see you soon. Bye.